Chelsea welcome defending champions Barcelona to Stamford Bridge as the two do battle in the first leg of their Champions League semi-final. The London club will be hoping to exact a measure of revenge from their controversial exit to Barcelona in 2009. Chelsea felt aggrieved after being refused three penalty claims before a last gasp Andres Iniesta goal put Barcelona through. Chelsea went close that night and interim first team coach Roberto Di Matteo believes Barca don't like playing his side. They don't like to play against us. I mean, the results in the past have shown that and uh, because uh, we have, uh, you know, the way we play is maybe a little bit uh, more difficult for them to, to play against. So. Uh, you know, I think we respect each other both, but we both know that you know there's going to be two teams tomorrow night that uh, are going to play against each other, and we've shown on many occasions that uh, we are a team that gives them a lot of problems. Chelsea may have been resurgent since the departure of former boss Andre Viash Boash, but Barca definitely remain favourites over two legs, aiming for a third Champions League title in just four years. Pep Guardiola's side have been talked about as one of the best teams to ever grace the game. But of the nine times the teams have met, Chelsea have won four with Barcelona taking five and midfielder Cesc Fabregas knows all about Chelsea's quality. No, la verdad es que... The game is going to be difficult. It's going to be tough. Obviously, there have been interesting games when we have played Chelsea. Before, when I was with Arsenal, and in recent years for Barcelona. Even though we kept possession and we did quite well, it is quite difficult to play against them because they can easily create a counter-attack. And then they have Drogba, who can easily score a goal. So you have to be very careful, and you have to be concerned about these kinds of counters that they can play. After completing the small matter of a Champions League semi-final, Barcelona travel back to Spain for what could be a La Liga title decider against Real Madrid at the Nou Camp on Saturday. Guardiola, though, had a rather philosophical outlook on a busy and high-pressure week. Well, ladies say that men are not capable of dealing with two things at the same time. So we will probably stick to tomorrow's game and we will see about Saturday. We will try to have a good rest after the game. And then we will think about the Clásico once this game is over. The return leg takes place at the Nou Camp next Tuesday.